Thanks for joining us. I'm Caroline Hogan. And I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Good morning. A lot of us uh, waking up in the middle of the night to those strong winds howling out there. Yeah. How was your drive in? You know, so it was crazy. I was driving down Oneida and it was really eerie. Not only just the wind and yeah. not a lot of people being out there, but I saw lights, street lights flickering. Yes. And even uh, one of those big signs, you know, where it says a bunch of different businesses, mm -hmm. that was flickering. It was, it was quite scary. Yeah, those mm -hmm. signs are rattling out there. It does look eerie and it's a little hard to drive too, by the way. And keep in mind that this system was so strong, especially up aloft and high in the atmosphere, that it was technically like a category two hurricane wind speeds. Now here at the surface, it was more like an EF zero wind speeds, which does damage to trees and homes and things like that. It makes it very difficult to drive, which is why the high wind warning is still in effect until 9 a.m. We're still experiencing some strong wind gusts. It's been quite a doozy those past 12 hours with gusts to near 70 miles miles per hour throughout the region, knocking down trees. There's nearly 60,000 people without power throughout the state of Wisconsin. So winds right now gusting to 37 miles per hour here into Green Bay, a 43 mile per hour gust into Appleton. The strongest right now is down into Sheboygan near 50 miles per hour. That's the gust. It pushes you it moves your car around and those sustained winds at 20 to 35 miles per hour as well is a little hard to deal with out there. So a lot of things whipping around power outages like I'd mentioned trees down down on homes. A few homes into Green Bay are being reported that they have tree damage on top of their roof. Same thing into Rhinelander as well. Trees have come down on homes, widespread tree damage blocking roads. That's kind of what you have to deal with as you head out to the roads this morning. Also into western Wisconsin, reports of tornadoes into southern Minnesota too. So we were lucky that this system kind of died out as it pushed on in here. But we're still not done with the damage. Even though the winds are starting to calm down, it's kind of creating havoc out on Lake Winnebago where we have Noel Friel there. 60 mile per hour wind gusts were clocked. Now they're down to the 40s. What does it look like out on the lake and the shoreline? Brittany, thank you. Yes, we're on the lake right now. And as you can see behind me, there are some massive ice shoves forming along the lake here. I'm about five foot two, five foot three, and these are towering over me. So we're guessing that these are about eight feet tall. You can see that they're just absolutely massive. And these ice shoves, once they pile up and start moving, will just plow through anything in their way. You can see that this dock that we're standing on is covered in ice right now as it just plows over. And you can also see from where we're standing, there are actually some some houses nearby um, right over here along the lake and these ice shoves again when they're moving they can uproot a tree and they can even push a house off of their foundation so that's something to definitely be aware of if you live near a lakefront like this one and again you want to practice some safety tips with these high winds Brittany back to you Thank you so much, Noel. It's crazy to see those ice shoves. They are so tall. And you were mentioning earlier, too, that they were kind of moving a little bit still at this moment. And also just be aware on the east side of Lake Winnebago, you can have more start to head your way, too. Now, Noel, there's tree damage, too. Have you seen any crews out there cleaning that up yet? We did a little bit earlier on. Um, they were working on the power lines and we spoke to some workers with We Energy who said that there was not a power outage here, just some damage um, and they are going to be sending out crews who are going to be removing that tree that we looked at earlier. OK, thank you so much. I'm glad they still have power because those cold temperatures are moving on in now. Winds are still strong in Lake Michigan too, having some issues to storm warning out there with waves up to 23 feet high, creating, of course, some lakeshore flooding on the east side of the big pond there as those winds now are out of the west. All day yesterday they were out of the south warming us up. Now they're switching there. So that's why that ice shove concern on the east side of Winnebago is a concern there. So by this afternoon, we'll see gusts up to about 35 miles miles per hour and then by this evening it'll calm down to the teens and 20s and we forget that this even happens right but the high wind warning in effect until 9 a.m. Keep your distance from those semis two hands on the wheel and dress for some colder temperatures. We already hit our highs today. We're doing nothing but falling actually to that freezing mark by this afternoon, which could cause flash freezing concerns and black ice and then we drop to the teens after that and we'll let you know if we're going to stay cold or not coming up. Brittany, thank you. And as Noel mentioned, there are a number of power outages around the area this morning. Right now in Brown County, about 3,400 customers are without power. So crews are slowly starting 